Welcome to our practice today. Today we're going to be focusing on standing forms, and our theme is going to be around balancing. I know for me personally, I find that when I'm holding any balancing form, it's really helpful for me to be aware of what's going on. If I'm thinking about five or six different things, or I'm really stressed out, I notice that my balance is usually off and I tend to be a bit more wobbly. So this might be an invitation to see what it might feel like to ground ourselves in the present moment and maybe focusing on what's happening here and right now. We might start by having our feet hip width apart and you can place your feet seeing if you can ground them into the mat and you might rotate between going forward on your toes and back on your heels. Maybe noticing a bit of a swaying action. You might also move side to side if that's useful for you. And here we just want to find where we can find even pressure in our feet. So sometimes we may have more pressure on our heels or maybe more pressure on our toes. And you can rock side to side or up and down or even in a circular motion. Seeing if you can find a place where the weight might be evenly distributed in our feet. And when you find that place, there's an invitation to maybe pause for a moment and notice what this might feel like. Maybe noticing the sensation of our feet into the ground. You might notice our toes involved here and our he heels involved in a standing form like this. And from here, we're going to explore and go into our first balancing form, which is going to be tree. You might start by taking your left leg off on the ground. Your right leg can come up so your toes might be on the ground. Or that leg might come up a bit higher. What we want to do, though, is just avoid touching our knee with our foot. And when you find a place that feels useful for you, you might bring your hands to center. There's an invitation to bring your hands up and possibly to open up. You might find which might feel useful for you by experimenting with them. And you may hold it here for three, two, and one. If your hands were up, you might bring them to center, maybe bringing that leg back down and shaking it out if it's useful for you. And we can experiment with this on the other side. You may notice that sometimes with balancing, it might be easier to balance on one side than the other. So you might take the other leg and ground it into the mat so it feels like all our weight is here. Our other leg can come up and we can see if we can try and avoid that knee. And then you can see if you can find a place for your hands. It can be at center or above our head or also open. You might also see if you can find a point to focus on that's at eye level and really focusing on a spot, seeing if it can help you with your balance here. For three, two, and one. If your hands were open, there's an invitation to maybe bring them to center and possibly bringing that leg back down. You can also give your legs a wiggle. And we can try that again. So one leg is gonna be grounded, the other leg can come up, and finding a space for our hands to go that's gonna be useful for us to maintain balance. Maybe finding a spot to focus on and maybe noticing where you might be feeling this. So you might be feeling this in the leg that's grounded, or maybe noticing other muscles that are working here as well. You might notice the other leg, maybe even feeling if it's there, or maybe not noticing this at all. And if your hands are open, maybe bringing them back to center bringing that leg down and giving the legs a shake if that's useful for you. You can possibly switch sides. Grounding one leg into the mat, bringing the other leg up and finding a place for your hands. Seeing if we can engage with that point at eye level, 
and maybe even exploring where you might be feeling this. This might feel different on this side, and that's also okay. And we're going to hold it here for three, two, and one, possibly bringing our hands back to center and possibly bringing that leg down, giving it a shake. From here, we're going to go into something called palm tree. So this might involve our feet being together, bringing our hands above our head so our palms will be facing up towards the ceiling, and there's an invitation to go onto the tips of our toes. You can decide how high you want to lift up, maybe seeing if you can engage with a point that you're focused on. Four, three, two, and one. Bringing our heels down and our hands can come down to the side. And we might try that one more time, maybe seeing if we can hold it just a little bit longer. If at any point you feel wobbly or you feel like you lose your balance, that's also okay as this is part of the process. And it might just involve coming back down to recenter ourselves and seeing if we can focus on a point or focusing on our feet on the ground. So we might bring our hands up, palms to the ceiling, and there's an invitation when you're ready to lift your heels up to what height feels best for you. Maybe engaging at looking at a spot for three, two, and one, and maybe bringing your heels down and your hands coming down to the side. You can roll your shoulders back if that's something that feels useful for you in this moment. We're gonna go into another balancing form. So like all the other balancing forms, finding a spot to focus on that's at eye level can be really helpful in maintaining our balance. Also, maybe noticing when you feel like you're getting distracted and if there's something that can pull you back and keep you grounded. This can be something in the room that you're looking at. It can be the sensation of your foot, maybe against the mat or the floor. Just seeing what might be useful to help you stay centered here. And for this one, we're going to have one foot push into the mat so it's grounded. And you might bring the knee up on the opposite foot. Your hand can go onto the knee and there's an invitation to stay here if that's something that's useful. Or you can bring that knee opening it up to the side. Your hand can go anywhere so it can go on your side. It can go out wherever may feel helpful for you to maintain your balance. Possibly seeing if you can explore looking at a point that's at eye level. If at any point you feel wobbly, you can always hold onto the wall if you have a wall behind you. You can use something to support your leg as well. Maybe bringing that leg back to center and bringing that leg down. You can shake out your knees if you would like. And you might explore this on the other side. So you might start by grounding one foot into the mat and bringing the opposite knee up. Here, holding onto your knee, you can keep it here in center, or maybe bringing that knee, opening it up to the side. You might also say exactly where you were so you can try and see which option might work best for you in this moment. Noticing that this moment might be different for you today compared to the next day. Then, at your own time, you might bring that knee to center and bring it down and shaking out the knees, and you might explore this one more time. So you might ground one foot into the mat, bringing the other foot up, holding onto your knee. You can either hold it here or bring that knee over to the side. You may even notice if you want to place your hand in a different form from where it was to create a little bit of a different shape and see if that's more useful for you. And whenever you're ready, that knee can come back to center if it moved, or it can come back down and you can wiggle out your knees. And maybe you might want to explore this on the other side. When I'm able to focus on a point in front of me, it tends to make a big difference for myself in terms of maintaining that balance and really focusing on what's happening now. So maybe grounding your other foot into the mat Bring in the other foot up if you'd like. You can also bring that knee up and open to the side. Maybe moving your arms in a different place so it might be out to the side or on your hips. 
or on to or holding onto the wall. And at your own time, you might bring that knee to center if you moved it, or bringing that knee down. And there's an invitation to shake it, your knees out if that's helpful. And one last one that we will do before we close today, we'll be having our feet together and going into a chair. So we might bring our hands up towards the ceiling. As we breathe out, we might drop our knees down. Maybe our hands can come to center if that's useful for you. You might hold it here for a few seconds, or at any point you can also go and return back to center if that's more useful. As we breathe in, we might bring our hands up, and as we breathe out, maybe having our hands come to the side. Thank you for participating in this balancing practice. I hope there were some pieces that you were able to reflect on and maybe notice when you were able to maintain your balance the best. Maybe there are parts that were a little tricky and you were able to notice that you might be wobbly, or maybe it was halfway through and you were noticing you're getting distracted by other things. You could also be in a space where there are different people coming in and out, and that could be a distraction as well. Maybe seeing what was the most useful for you to maintain your balance through these forms, and noticing if grounding was helpful in terms of grounding our feet into the mat or using a center point to focus on as well.